paper you usually do with the uh, WordPress. So you can approve, disapprove comments, you can do the management, you can do the posts, comments, pages, you can view statistics, and it's it's very, very good client. And uh, so this, this client running on the fifth edition, then, sorry for the quality, it was taken from the TV out, that's uh, this exactly the same code base running on the N900. As you can see, the uh, screen size is totally different, windowing system is different, we had to do custom uh, uh, UI in here, we had to do custom menus in order to simplify platform differences, and that's the same code base running on this N82 that is almost three years old phone and it's a 63.1 phone. So, I'll show you here how, for example, I will add contact images. Sorry, not contact images, images from the gallery. And uh, it's pretty complex project because we have to deal with so many little things like, for example, we can have huge hierarchy of the posts, we can have huge hierarchy of the comments, plus what is the most complex is managing online and offline state of the, because it's mobile client, it's gonna lose connection, meaning that while you are typing, you have to, you should be able to like restore all your activities. And we did this application in less than two months targeting how many? Actually, four different platforms. With the very small development team, we started last December, we released the project in the end of the January of this year. Now, it's on the, its uh, uh, next generation and uh, it's been used quite actively. And uh, we've been approached by our good friends and colleagues at Nokia, and they said that, hey guys, you have this good knowledge how you should target a variety of Nokia platforms, desktop platforms with the Qt. You've done so many projects with Qt. Can you go to the developer summit and like share your experience? What are those underwater stones? And uh, you can be honest. And we ask, okay, how honest you want us to be, like define the level. And the very good response from our Nokia guys, what was that? Uh, well, we are, like you've heard at the uh, keynote yesterday, we are at the developer uh, sorry, transitional period right now. So the least thing we have to do is to lie to developers that everything is nice and rosy. So we would like to be totally open. We would like to share what are the current work in progress areas, etc., etc. So I returned to my guys, to my mobile development team, and I, and I said, okay, guys, what we have to do, because you are targeting so many platforms with Qt, what we have to do, I want to know what are the common problems, uh, what are the tips and tricks that you would like to share with the developer community, and if, in addition to that, you can create few simple illustrative samples that would showcase your point, that would be perfect. And do you know what was the answer from my guys? Well, it's not actually that bad. Because if you are doing the everything right from the beginning, there isn't that much that you have to be aware if with the Qt application you are targeting multiple mobile platforms. After some time, of course, we were able to dug out those little issues or let's say underwater stones that you will have to face when you are targeting with the single code base the multiple platforms.